What up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Acquired Taste. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing international music and we're going to start with Holland, Holland. I'm Not Afraid. Go Te So, so uh, born on March 4th, 1996, mm -hmm. professionally known as Holland, is a South Korean singer. Holland is known as the first openly gay K-pop idol. He decided to make his debut as a singer to speak out based on his experiences with violent assailants due to him being a part of the LGBTQ plus community. When Holland first decided to pursue music, he attempted to join an entertainment company. However, no entertainment company was willing to work with him due to him being openly gay. So he worked two part-time jobs in order to fund his own debut single, yes. which was released in January of 2018. The music video showed Holland and his male counterpart kissing and received 19 plus rating in South Korea. He made a comeback on June 6, 2018 with his next single, I'm Not Afraid. The music video also received a 19 plus rating, but it was soon removed after. So 19 plus rating is good? No, it's 19 mature. plus rating did you have to be 19 or older oh, plus, okay. He chose his stage name as a tribute to the first country to legalize same-sex marriage. And then there are no subtitles, but you don't need subtitles to understand the message. Oh, story. that's beautiful. I was wondering where Holland came from. I love that. Beautiful. Oh. 
he showed all types of relationships. Mm -hmm. Oh, more? Yeah. It's more? Shout out, shout out to the um, uh, creative director, art director for the video to be able to make the, the story in such, in such small spaces, such, such small staging. And I like the lights they chose for certain scenes, like the, the kissing scene, green on one side, blue on the other side, but also a pink light mm -hmm. on the blue side. Just like very small, detailed things that were done in the video to, to be able to create the narrative. Uh, and again, we had no subtitles, so this is all just visual uh, artistry that we're seeing here. But um, shout outs to uh, the artist uh, for being vulnerable enough to make the video. Um, shout outs to the people chosen to end the mm -hmm. video. Mm -hmm. uh, the yeah, actors and models, whatever they were. Yeah, wonderful group of, wonderful looking group of people. Um, yeah, I, I, um, I'm, I'm proud to hear from the, the story it took for this artist to make this happen. Mm -hmm. The results of it uh, was a great piece. Um, like really, really, really good piece of art, and I'm really hoping that in the future you look back on this as always a, as a reminder to uh, just, just, you know, just do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially in this time now, where you know what I'm saying things are being more accepted, and there's, there's more space being made for people. This could be a perfect example of how you can make, you know, your project with just, you know, a hope and a prayer for real, for real. It was visually beautiful. Like I also agree. I like the colors that were used. I could see that it was a pretty small space, but it didn't feel small. Mm -hmm. It felt big and it felt lively and it felt, I, I, I don't know if adventurous is the right word to describe it, but like that feeling of like, I don't know, there's so many different people and there's so many different personalities. I'm sure there's so many different emotions going on and it just felt like an explorative. Yeah, like feeling place. like, yeah, like a safe space for you to, you know, learn a lot of things. Um, I loved it, I thought it was beautiful. It almost made me cry. Almost made me cry. Um, also, it gave me Troy Sivan vibes. If you know who Troy Sivan is, you probably understand exactly what I'm talking about because he, very similar, very similar to the artistry. Yeah, what they said. It was very moving and mm -hmm. it, was, it was very like, aesthetically pleasing to watch um even the people that they chose to be in it like like they said um I, I felt what i personally felt was like i'm stepping in, i'm stepping into something because i'm like been so conditioned to be afraid i'm actually like i'm not afraid anymore but at the same time it's still like that that lingering feeling but i'm coming out of that so it's like that in between stage of like I'm not afraid, like convincing myself like I'm not afraid anymore, and then starting to believe it. Mm. Right, you're not afraid to do it because you're afraid to do it. You're afraid to do it because like it's new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, that's that's the kind of feeling I had like like hearing him mm. sing this. Mm -hmm. It was like I'm not afraid anymore. I've I've been through all this mess. Like it is what it is. Yes, is is new. It's not new to me, but like it's a different. Story. It's a different type of being not afraid of whatever yeah. it is. It was so it's like a mix, a mixture of a lot of feelings happening mm -hmm. of what I got from this song. All right, so that was video number one of the day. Now we're <laughs> gonna get to video number two. It's going to be Junie uh, Distance. Junie is born April 6, 1996, a Korean Canadian singer songwriter who debuted as a solo artist in 2017. On August 10th of 2019, he released his fifth EP, Vivid Part 2. Distance is the first track listed on the EP. That's it. I need you to calm down. That's what you should do. <laughs> Yeah. 
That was nice. So whoever helps arrange this song, like the vocal arrangements and the musical arrangements, like whoever put the, this in the background and this in the foreground, y'all did this song <laughs> justice. Because I hear every switch, I hear everything, I hear I hear everything that I think, I hear something in the back, and as soon as I think I'm hearing it, something comes right behind that. I'm like, oh, so that was there, and now this is here. Okay, and then okay, okay. Beautiful, beautif beautifully. Same girl, same. Beautifully, beautifully put together. <laughs> like his the the notes and the range that he has is perfect for this this K-pop. Well, this R and B genre that's not being used in K-pop. It's absolutely like he has the perfect range. And someone just got with him and was just like, okay, I can do this. But then like I'm gonna half step it up and then put it behind you. How's this sound? Oh yeah, like it's perfect. All right, I'm gonna do this. And then I'm going to auto-tune it out and then put this down. How does it sound like? Someone just knows exactly what to do with him. Like They were studying. Yeah, like... Studying, it sounds like he's Batman, studying. Marcus Houston, Mario, Neo. Yeah, and and that, like that, that era like that, of, yeah. of R&B when they was actually him? singing with the chin up. Like, I feel like... It, look, that's what could, it sounds like. He could collab like, with Usher, Neo, and oh, T-Pain. Yeah. All three of them. Oh, he could yeah. collab with all three of them. If he's singing like this, all three of them, yo. But anyone in that generation, Mario, anyone in that generation who can sing, you can collab with right now. Yes. And it would low-key Mario. Low-key low pop. Right. Low Mario, pop. Oh, goodness. That was tight. That was great. Like right. That, yeah, that would be yeah. nice. Yeah, Junior's yeah. dope. Again, like Malik said, I've enjoyed him since the first song. He just has... I don't know. He just has that soulful voice that's so effortless. And it's like, I melt when I listen to him. <laughs> like, I'm just, oh, it's so nice. It's just so nice. I'm always down for Junie, so send more. Well, that was a very uh, R&B, soulful, emotional episode we've had going on today. Uh, we got to watch Holland, I'm Not Afraid, and Junie, Distance. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let us know in the comments or, you know, on our pages, our Patreon, our Instagram, our YouTube, or our Twitch. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Have a great one. Be blessed. Eat food, drink water. Peace. Bye.